Hi, welcome back. I'm David Mustard and this week I have traveled about three hours north of London up to the coast just outside of Norwich. And this week I'm showing you a beautiful architectural minimalist eco-friendly holiday rental only meters away from the North Sea only separated by the massive sand dunes behind me. You can probably hear it in the background actually. The home is seen as a reinterpretation of the seaside shack and it's taking its inspiration from simple wooden seaside buildings. I myself would say that it on the inside has many Scandinavian features and colors and it definitely reminds me of home. This is actually a passive house, which means that it is a very energy efficient house with a smaller ecological footprint. It is designed by award-winning mole architects and it provides the opportunity to experience modern architecture in a rural setting. This is a true five-star experience for anyone who wants modern luxury in the countryside. Let's first have a look at the outside here. When we first approached the house from the parking area, which has space for three cars, we're met by the side of the house, which is clad in a light colored wood. And there's this wooden walkway that takes us all the way up to the yellow front door, which is one of just a few pops of color at this place. And you will see this again around the house. If we look to our left, we can see that the garden extends and you can follow it all around the house. So you have a garden outside wherever you choose to exit. The garden and grounds extend to about an acre. On the left hand side, we have these wide steps that lead up to the back door. I'm a fan of when you extend steps so that it becomes more than just steps. It becomes a place where you can sit down. This is also the closest way to get through to the path that takes you down to the beach right behind me. And there you can do some seal watching when the seals are around. I think they're seasonal actually. From here we move around the corner from the back of the house to the side where the porch starts. This porch is reached from this little extension to the side of the house through the sliding doors from the kitchen. Out here they usually have a family sized picnic table and if I'm not mistaken this area and the rest of the porch is south facing so lots of light here throughout the day. The porch then moves around the house all along the living room and the bedrooms with something we saw on the other side, these steps that run all along the side. I think this is such a beautiful feature. It looks modern and cohesive. The whole house is one entity. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like that really helps. And we will soon have more videos for you. And let us know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel. We'll leave links below so you can check those out as well. Now I think we have covered the outside extensively and it's time to move inside. So get ready. Through the yellow door on the side here, we are met by the hallway at the center of the house with the bedrooms on both the right and left hand side. And at the end, we find the open plan living room kitchen. So let's start there. If we turn towards the kitchen, and this is a minimalist dream kitchen with amazing Scandinavian touches. The units are mostly in this washed plywood, which you can also see on the walls throughout this home. These open shelves in the kitchen follow in the same color. And then there's these white tiles below that follow along two walls towards the sink. On the left hand, there's dark panels at a bit of a contrast to the rest of the kitchen where you can find the fridge, freezer and oven. There's also a dark wood floor throughout the house. I also like the pop of color that these lamps provide in the ceiling here. And this kitchen has everything you need for your stay dishwasher, microwave, blender, toaster, and probably the most important thing, a coffee machine. Next to the kitchen, there's this little extension which you could see sticking out from the outside. There's just enough room here for a little designer chair, and then you can just open up these doors in front of the kitchen to walk straight out onto the porch where you can enjoy your breakfast during the warmer months. Now in front of the kitchen, you have the dining area with a bright yellow solid wood table matching the front door. Here you have space for six classic Eames dining chairs. This whole home is a dream for any interior design enthusiast.
and here you can have your dinner in front of the lovely view of the fields outside. Right next to the dining area, we find the living room, with two walls covered in a colorful reclaimed beach hut cladding. So it all comes full circle in this modern beach hut. Here we also have two large dark sofas where you can relax after a long day at the beach. From here, let's have a look at the three bedrooms. First, on our left, we have one of the two double bedrooms. The walls are clad in the same washed plywood as in the kitchen, and the beautiful integrated nightstands go in the same style as the open shelves in the kitchen as well. Here you have floor-to-ceiling windows, and you can step straight out onto the terrace for your morning coffee. Next to this, you have the second south-facing bedroom with two single beds, and across the hall, you find the third bedroom, which is north-facing, but benefits from an ensuite shower room. There's also a smaller TV and games room, which is like a smaller, cozier den, so that everyone can have their own space. Now let's take a quick look at the bathroom here as well. It's all decked out in Hansgrohe and Duravit fittings. And there's a skylight just above the bathtub to bring in some extra light. And the walls are clad in the same white tiles as in the kitchen. And it has the plywood cladding further up on the walls. And it has a yellow floor. So everything kind of comes together in this bathroom with everything we've seen in the other rooms. And just one more thing, you can bring your dog. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of Shangri-La. I will leave a link below and if you're interested in booking this, just click the link and have a look if there's any availability when you're ready to visit. Now let me know what your favorite part of the house is down in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. And let me know what you want to watch. Luxury apartments, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a little like on the video, that's always very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon. Bye bye.